Okay. You're just repeating yourself and telling me to ask you. <laughs> yeah, but they mentioned. Oh, 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 I was going to ask you this question actually. Go on. Right. The Quran is it created or uncreated? Uncreated. Right. So when when, when your God sent it down, what? Yes. It, 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 had, it had a created form, didn't it? No. It would have had to have a created no. form because it was sent down into. No. It, it was, was only written down. Well, it was only written down, yeah. but it was it was still in some way those words well, that were uncreated were still written on books that are created. What? Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a logical that's a logical fallacy. No, you don't see what I'm saying? No, I don't see that. Because no, no, what, because because Allah, according to your book, says he no, sent no, no. down. I get, I get, I get you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I he said he sent down. I think it's a misconception, right? Because well, we're saying that Allah, his, his the Quran is from the Arabic word qira'ah, which means recitation. So really, the Quran is not written. The Quran is actually recited all along. Yeah, it's never been something that's written. It's, when we use the word Quran, we're not referring to some written thing. We're, we're referring to the recitation. That's so what those words themselves enter creation, so why didn't would you? Yeah. Worry if someone tore a page of something that's not the Quran, that's just a mere manifest, like just the. I don't. I don't copy. care about that. No, you personally. A carbon copy of the recitation yeah, so. is not the recitation. It's not the eternal word of Allah. It's, it's not just a, like a. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to go and pray. Yeah, so let's wrap it up. Yep. So all I want to say is this: is all I want to say is just to you and the cameras. We talked about today just the idea. And I started off yes, sir. He's with, like a lecturer. with the idea. Okay, now look, we, we, we explored yeah. Jesus Christ. Could he be, I mean, do you know what I saw recently, actually? Uh, no, according, one quick no, 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 let me just tell you this. I, I was, it was one um, evangelical website. Yeah. Apparently, Trolls evangelical website. No, no, I, spare yeah. time. I'm just saying 30%. Nice. Of nice, keep it quiet. E, according to this, I think, it, do you know what this was? Do you know um, R.C. Sproul? He was yeah, in, yeah, you know yeah, him, right? Yeah, Sproul. Or Sproul? Sproul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I subscribed to his channel a long time ago because he's a good teacher, and, you know, or so on, yeah? But anyway, I'm praying for you, man, this, this really thing am. came up, this thing came up, you know, he's a good guy, yeah? Anyway, he came, uh, this thing came up on my feed that was saying that 30% of evangel from his website, from his uh, YouTube channel, like the things that his uh, lectures are on, I can't remember what it's called, something, something ministries, I can't yeah. remember. It's often the case, yeah. 30% of evangelicals don't believe in the divinity of Christ. That's cra that, that's what he said. I I mean, not not Sproul, yeah. but the, that's what yeah. he said. Now thirty percent. He said now, thirty percent of evangelicals don't believe that. Like now, if you the Pew Research in America, most individuals in America don't believe in the divinity of Christ, and the majority of people, even Christians now, are leaving this idea. And the reason why people are leaving this idea is simply because of the the, the reasons that I gave you guys. The reasons are... How do you know? Sorry, there's been a statistical yeah. analysis of going to some no. stores saying, do you believe in the divinity of Christ? They go, no. Check. And yeah. now you know the reasons why. They, they give you it, don't they, ascribe they, it to they give Satan or, or the influence of Islam. Fine. Or, Satan is not really... Fine. Fine. Satan is not real. No, no, I didn't say Satan is not real. No, sorry, I say, right. You can't methodologize that as a Satan. You can't say, oh, because of but Satan. How do you know if Satan that, came to me or not? You can say me. that the apostasy from Islam is due to the influence I don't know, of something uh, that's not Allah. No you problem. You made a video of it. Fine. Yeah, now, yeah, what I'm saying is that I'm not saying that Satan... How can you, in a sociological thing, put Satan, right? Anyway, look. What I'm but saying to you is... They're, they're putting divinity of Christ in a okay. sociological survey. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, go for point it. Point is, we talked about the proposition that God, with what we define him as eternality, omnipotence, omniscience... Spirit. That's important. Sports you guys spirit. define him as that. I don't you define do him as... No, no, I don't. Oh, no, it's because of his shin. I don't define God <laughs> as... His own. Oh, his hands. He's got two right hands. Wait a minute. Isn't that in the Bible? No. Yes, it, well, hold on. The face of Yahweh God is in the Bible. Wait, hold on. The face of God is in the Bible. It doesn't have two right hands. It doesn't have two right hands. The face of God is in the Bible. Yes, no. The face of God is in the Bible. All of that stuff is in the Bible. Wait, wait, hold on. The face of God is in the Bible. And we don't no, accept, we know how to interpret that. Yes. We're not saying that it's like the face of human beings. So yeah, let's, not be, let's not be foolish. Why are you throwing stones when you live in a glass house? Don't mention uh, bro, bro, her face bro, bro. and, and the hands. The thing is, I've never said that, God, that God has two right hands. I've never said that. No, but in the Bible, it's mentioned God's hands. It's yeah. had God's face mentioned. Okay. And when we right, talk the about... The point is, you've yeah, never seen how, that. Do we, how do we exegete that? So hold on, you've never anyway. seen that, Lord, but he has two right hands. No, we don't say God is anthropomorphic. We don't have an anthropomorphic... Anthropomorphic... Anthropomorphistic. Anthropomorphistic. Uh, what do you call it? So, so what, are those, what are those two right hands? I just want to ask a question. What are those uh, no, two no, no, no. We don't. We, this is not the language. So it's not like this. No, no one believes it's this. Not, in unlike Islam. nothing either, but we call it a hand because it's we it, know what. Hands hand of a clock. Uh, you know, like clocks have hands. Right? 
Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Are you trying to make fun I'm of not me? making fun of you. Yeah, I am. I'm actually asking a genuine question. No, no, no. I'm asking a genuine question. We're having a discussion. If you want to make fun, then I'm going to I'm not, bro, bro, bro. Come on. I'm not, I'm not. I'm asking a genuine question. What are those What I'm saying is, within Islam, we have schools of thought that interpret that stuff, just like within Christianity. What is your I say that we don't accept any anthropomorphistic understandings of, yeah. of, of those things. Okay, so so God is something so we don't understand. Bring, you, no, I don't use the word spirit. But essence, uh, like he's not... We believe in that, the essence is fine. Yeah. Now, okay, fine. The essence of God, we believe, yeah, not the essence, sorry. We believe the attributes of God, yeah, are that he's eternal, he's all powerful, he is um, all knowledgeable, all knowledgeable etc. The proposition that you can have someone who's unlimited... Of, please, yeah, yeah, fine. Unlimited in knowledge, unlimited in power, unlimited in his, uh, his eternal, pre-eternal and post-eternal. And at the same time, he has a date of birth, he, he's needy and so on. We say this is a clear-cut contradiction. And, and guys, fine. Christians can listen to this and they will make their decision. I will tell you something. What in my estimation, this is the reason from what we've seen Okay, of conversion into Islam and also conversion into agnosticism, right? One of the main reasons why people leave your religion is simply because they cannot conceive or accept the idea that a man is God and he died and he's all okay, uh, eternal at the same time. Maybe yeah. the reason that people feel able to leave Christianity is and they should. because they and might they be killed. Mohammed, let me speak now. Yeah. You spoke for a long yeah. time. They should. Because the worst that will happen for them from other Christians is they will be prayed for. So maybe next week, because I know you have to go and pray, yeah. we could talk about your stance on apostasy and yeah. the treatment of Muslim apost apostates because yeah. they're potential Christians and they're human beings. So I wouldn't mind like just discussing whether there's a, another way because as, but my understanding was that uh, insulting Muhammad as a uh, Muslim is like an instantaneous judgment it can be whereas if you leave Islam I thought there was a grace period of a few days where your family got to like right. try and reason so with you. So I've we'll got, I've got, that another I've got entire lectures on apostasy online. I'd rather talk to you about it though. You can talk to me what you like about it my but what I like to do is I like to, to talk about founda foundational matters. That is foundational. The, the foundational matter between the, the, the main I would say the main difference your between us. On let me just finish the sentence. Important. Our because the main difference between to fine. By many our people. the difference between me and you. Yeah. The main one of the main differences <laughs> is one of the main differences is the divinity of Christ. Yes. What we've discussed today shows, without a shadow of a doubt, unfortunately, there is no consistent reply of how there can be a. Because you won't let us go to the Bible because you're no, setting course. up a false premise. Listen, I do debate. not accept the Bible. And you have, no, you have shown me how that's in So because why, also, why, why are you no, telling no, no, the sense no, no. of how it could be a logical also, for God? Because in logic, anything no, that yeah. is within reality yeah, fine. Bring can it, be used. Bring so it in logic. Bible, yes, but the Bible is a part of reality and therefore I can use it as the you can, accumulated you can, wisdom fine. of the early Christians. Just put it in thing. a logical form. I'm happy to okay. listen to anything you've got. Excellent. For me, personally, just like many Christian scholars I was just speaking to you about, I don't think the Bible is in any way inerrant. I believe that the Bible is vulnerable, and that is the word of. I don't believe it's inerrant. It's, it's totally uh, erroneous. It's, yeah. It has. You don't totally. believe the Quran is inerrant evil. No, I believe that it's totally. inerrant. Totally. Yeah, I believe, believe the Quran is inerrant. You don't believe the Bible. You say yeah. um, Herald Muhammad's coming. You say those are erroneous as well. Possibly. You don't say. Oh, possibly. Just possibly. But the ones about the divinity are definitely erroneous. The, no, there's nothing about the divinity anyway. I'll that's bring a, that's them a separate. Next week. I'll bring that's them a separate discussion. No, no. But even if there were a, a verse in the Bible. That said clearly, Jesus is God, Matthew like the Father. 14, I would say, I've said this Aramaic to you before, if there was verses version. in the Quran that said it, I would reject it because yeah. it's so illogical that no one can understand but it. But your logic is not that of the Creator. No, exactly. Okay, well. Just if, because okay, you say so, logic my logic is not your logic. And therefore, well, yeah, my logic is the way you don't accept Fine. my premise. Which you one? don't accept you that God's said, wisdom is much higher than ours. Sorry? You don't, but I just said, but your logic is not that of. God, like, and you were like, fine, fine. As God, if, like, there's God, a God, potential God, for no, you to no, know no. as much as. You know, look, you see these buildings here? Yes, can you Dad. see them? Can you yeah. see the buildings there? <laughs> now, can you see that cafeteria there? Not without looking around, but All I right. know it's Can there. you see those cameras there? I can. How are they constructed? By engineers, architects, Fantastic. And now, if they didn't operate on the same paradigm, everything would fall apart on itself, right? Some paradigm. Yeah, so when, if, if an engineer comes into the office, the architect doesn't say, well, I'm a Muslim, my logic is different to your one, you're a Christian. 
we, we use the same mathematical rules and the same logical rules. If you don't want to introduce... Listen, hold on, hold on. Listen, you don't want to tell me where the space is and it creates that space. It doesn't anyway, mean that it's, it's impossible no to wear a space. Uh, That's listen, a bit weird. Uh, okay, anyway, thank you for that. What I was saying is simply this. If you don't want to bring the same exact paradigms, subject matters, yeah, uh, parameters that we would use in the, in the fields of architecture and engineering, yeah, which is logical. At the end Logic of the day, is the like, ultimate if architect. you don't want to use that to have yes. a discussion, and if you're not going to, and if you do use it, and you realise it's illogical that it's, you can have an eternal and unternal man at the same time, yes. it's a contradiction. But I'm going to keep faith. Yeah, nobody can faith is going to propel to the me. Quran in the Bible. All I'm going to say to you is, you that, then I've what you're it, doing is, is, is basically this is what you're doing. Excellent. All right, face palm. You are a young man, and I am. Anyways, guys, thank but you very my, much. My There's nothing more I can say about this. The thing that I would say to you is that. As a, load, or as a student of, um, I think it's psychology, is it with you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you use a lot of long words. But as someone who's interested in theology, right, okay. similar to me, I think we've got similar educational backgrounds as in disciplines, it would be nice to have a complete critical reasoning conversation and then like a, just a human to human using theological. So the logical in the theological is still logic. Yeah. It's just got different parameters to critical reasoning. But God bless no, you. theology just means study of, by the way. Study of God. Yeah. It's not, it's and not the knowledge. This, it doesn't mean anything with... It means uh, the knowledge of, not the study. Logic the knowledge. and theology are two the different things. Logos is knowledge of. Anyways, thank you very much. And uh, that will be that. You I don't, don't know us who... any microphones. It's just all yeah, of the yeah. six people around us. Right, Who's can is I this? just do a wrap up quickly and then you can have a little. Oh, oh, there's a very close up, by the way. Are you going to hand them out? Yeah. I need to pray out for you. Salam alaikum, Aki. Salam alaikum, Aki. Are you okay? Salam alaikum, Aki. Right, you're good, yeah? You're going to eat soon. Huh? You're going to eat soon. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, do you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I need to do something. Bro, I lost, I lost four kilos or something. Yeah? Yeah. I need to do this quickly, man. Let's go to the barbers as well. She's stuck. She's stuck.